YouTube, my name is Miles Anderson. I'm a professional joke explainer, and today I'm looking at the comedy of Brian Callen, one of the best comedians working today. So we're here at the, the MMA Awards, which is a big stand-up. It's a big stand-up show. What's up, everybody? How are you? How are you? Fantastic. Travis Brown, thank you for that beard, huh? A hand for that beard, ladies and gentlemen. If I had a, I just feel like he should stand on the front of boats if I looked like that. Just, I mean. All right, so um, really risky move right off the top, doing crowd work um, with a gentleman in the front row who he knows the name of, Travis Brown. Uh, they must be friends. Uh, I think the joke there is that uh, he says, thank you for that beard. Um, which is sort of implying that maybe he, he, he grew the beard just for Brian Callen, uh, which of course would be uh, absurd. And then he says, you should stand on the, on the front of a boat, um, which, which again is like kind of a, kind of a joke about uh, the man's appearance. He kind of looks like a, he might be like a, like a boat guy. So great stuff off the top. It's amazing. I just, it's, it's so weird to be doing stand-up for you guys. I just, I've always wanted to be a fighter. This isn't even what I wanted to do. Seriously, I just, that's all I've ever, you know, I'm a professional jackass, but I just, I look at you, the, the, just the, I'm not, I, I'm not, fuck, it kills me. I'm not built to fight. I, I'm built to dance. Look at this shit. I'm just like, I have, I, I look at how flexible. I've never taken dance, but I can do that. I can do four of those. So that's not just, even okay, so that's first little bit there. Uh, the joke is just sort of that his, his arms uh, can uh, emote sort of a, a different um, level of masculinity. So the joke there is sort of like uh, his arm is like strong, not strong because he wants to be a fighter, but it's like, it's, it's like this and it can also be like that. So that's sort of the joke there is um, sort of his arm movement. It's funny. It's like I... I'm just, I, and I lift, I eat, and nothing grows. I just stay narrow and supple. I, I'm like <laughs> built to Crowd gesture. I want to fucking hit, man. I just, it sucks. I wish, I'd love to be a dancer too. I'm just, you know, I'm straight, and so there's so many rules. No, but I'm, there are so many straight guy rules. It's such a homophobic society. You can't, you know, you can't do, you know, the things I'd like if I was a dancer like I, that that's not allowed that i can't button my dances like that okay so uh the the joke here is he's saying he can't be a dancer because he's a heterosexual man um and only uh homosexuals are allowed to dance so uh the the sort of the joke there i guess is that um uh that that isn't actually the rules <laughs> There's so many things, like I was thinking about, there's so many things as a straight guy you can't do. You can never frolic through wheat, for example. I can never just run through. You ever notice that? Like, I can't forget my troubles. Just, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, I guess so the joke kind of right now is that his, he's, a, he's a straight guy, but his body um, can do a, a feminine, effeminate things. So I, I was thinking, like, dissonant. I can't even run through a weed field and drag my hand behind me like that. I, it's not written anywhere. I just know somehow my friends would consider that suspect. Uh, yeah, there's so many weird, like, I think I'm allowed to run through a weed field and drag my hand this way. Like, I think I can, because he did that in Gladiator. So I think, I think I can touch the top of wheat. But it's funny, because the minute you Crowd go from, it. like, Going, like the minute I go here, the minute I go here, now they're like, holy, holy shit, he bangs guys. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So again, sort of the, uh, the joke is sort of about, uh, you know, how Brian Callen wishes uh, he could act effeminate, um, but he's afraid that people will, will assume he's gay, uh, which of course would be devastating for him. And I, I don't bang guys unless it's an emergency. I mean, <laughs> No, but even then, they're like, he's gay. It's like, I was in Europe. What are you talking about? I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't even smiling. I was frowning the whole time. <laughs> so the joke about, is about Europeans there. That's sort of a classical comedy joke about uh, implying that all, Europeans are all gay, um, which, of course, is hilarious. 
to, it's sort of a, a, a something that's been a joke that's been sort of told uh, a few times over the past 50 or 60 years. Can't keep years. up with your straight guy rules. It's weird. I never know what the top of wheat feels like. It sucks. But dancing, this is like I was there. These little anthropological studies, like I, I travel a lot, and I think the rule for a straight guy when you dance, I think you gotta keep, like you can do whatever you want as long as the arms are bent. Like you gotta keep here, you know what I mean? You can do, I, th I don't know why, maybe it's just in case you gotta, you know, I don't know. But you can do it, but like you can do, you can like kick an arm up, get low here. But the minute, the minute, if you're dancing, the minute you straighten your arms, you're. Okay, so it's, it's still kind of the same joke that he started about uh, 15 minutes ago. Um, that, uh, uh, you know, he wants to do these things, but he can't. So uh, it's also kind of making fun of the difference between how a, a gay person moves versus a straight guy. Uh, so the joke is that, you know, like a straight person would have, like, if they were going to sort of wave their hand, it would sort of be like this. And then if a, if a gay person waved... It would it would probably look like this or something. So, so that's sort of the joke is just the contrast between like a like a stiff uh, movement and then so that's that that's that's the joke there. Apparently, you're not allowed to do that. Push your if I push my palms like I've been waiting. I can't. I'm not making fun of anybody for being gay. I'm just I just think it's homophobic. I don't know. I'd love to be a fighter, man. I, I worked hard at it too. I got, you know, I can, I can scrap. I took some, I can I get some fights, man. I can, so I tell if, if you mess with my girl, man, I'm a fucking human shield. That's how I was raised. Give me shit. Well, who you are, man? You better pack a lunch. So I say to girls, you want to date me? I hope you're into having, you know, hard sex, money, and fucking a uh, shield. You know, because I, I fight with my, I use my elbows. When I fight, I don't use my hands, and I need these for music and lovemaking. <laughs> I play the harp. Okay, so he's sort of, I think he's sort of just enacting a fantasy that he has, um, sort of a kind of a, a bizarre fantasy that's a bit absurd. So that the joke there is sort of the um, that he he thinks he should be like this. Harp, don't worry about it. So I'm getting to a point. Um, I got, listen, man, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, I know we got tough guys, Vitor, like a hero of mine, bad, you got so many great fighters, but I, I can scrap, man, I got crazy fight stories, I used to box, wrestle, jiu-jitsu, I worked hard, I got the craziest fight stories, I, 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 seriously, I was in Cody, Wyoming, and this dude came at me on horseback, and this other guy released a dog on me, and the guy had a fucking jousting spear, I don't, none of the stories are true, but they're crazy, yeah, I killed the dog. I'm a liar. So. <laughs> okay, so I guess the again the 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 joke there is that he kind of makes up stories about Wyoming sometimes. But uh, what was I? I this is a true story. I'm gonna tell you the story. This is this is um this is I swear to God this is a true story. I was in okay. Vegas. I, I didn't know they like do fighting story, stories. I was like I don't know. All right, here's the story. It's a true story, and I don't know why I never see this in the UFC. I actually came up with a move that works incredibly, and this is, this is no, no BS. I was in Body English or one of these clubs, and yeah, whatever. Who just went woo about Body English? Like, do you own it? Look at it. Forrest Griffin. I love it. Get him, Big Brian. Forrest. All right, well, if you did, then you know what? Woo! Get him. He's so big. I produce estrogen every time I hear his voice. It's just, it's got that real deep kind of hey, hey. My butt starts to perk. It's so weird. It's like every time I'm like, what the hell is going on with me? Yeah, don't, don't, ever, don't ever woo at a Brian Callen show. Because um, he, he'll get you just like he got uh, that man in the audience there. Um, who he then, uh, you know, he got him. But uh, this is a true story, man. I, I literally, this guy, I, with this girl was in front of me and I moved her out of the way. I was trying to go meet my girl and I moved her and I guess I touched her wrong. This dude comes at me the size of my kitchen. He was, 
I'm serious. He was Samoan, which is already, I don't know if you've ever, Samoans are, I don't know what happened. Do you ever see a Samoan try to dial a cell phone? Their fingers are that fat. It's impossible. They freak out. They're like, Aah. it's like, I'll do it for you, Tua, you know. Uh, so the joke there, uh, obviously, is uh, that uh, Samoans are a very large uh, peoples and um, that uh, they're so big that they might even struggle to dial a cell phone. Um, so a lot of people in the crowd, also they also know the Samoans are large. Obviously, he's exaggerating here, so very funny. Dude, this guy comes at me, and this is a true story. And I literally, I've never, I was like, I don't know what to do. Double leg, yeah, right, there's nothing. He came at me, and he had these, this bald head and these ears. And he came at me, and I literally, I just, I grabbed his ears. I, I didn't know what else to do. I grabbed his ears. It works. He was like, he was like, get the fuck out of my ears. And I was, and I was, I was driving his face. I was like, I didn't do anything. And he, he's like, I'll kill you. I'm like, I didn't. And, he's, and, I, and he latched onto my wrist with these. I, the minute he grabbed my hands, I went, well, those are bananas. Those are dirty bananas. They look like dirty bananas. A little bit, a little bit risky uh, to uh, imply that a, a Samoan man uh, has uh, dirty bananas for hands. Um, but the crowd loves it, so it's okay. In my terror, that's what I thought. And I was at, and he was like, I'll kill you. And I just, and I just stopped. And I just, I just chimp yanked him into me. I just chimp yanked him. And I kissed that motherfucker. Just, oh my. I know, listen to me. Listen, not to brag, but I'm a really good kisser. So I was here. And, but here's the point. When you do that to a guy, they're like, whoa, well, you smell good. I thought I was straight. Whatever they're thinking, I don't know. <laughs> but listen, when you, get him, when you get him distracted, that's when you headbutt me. And that's what I, and that's, the point is, if you make out with a guy and then beat his ass, fucks him up for life. So so that's a super funny story there. Um, it's a true story, because uh, Brian said it uh, multiple times at the beginning that it's a true story. So that also enhances the humor of it, because you know it actually happened, uh, that he was attacked by uh, a giant Samoan man with banana hands. And then he uh, grabbed both of his ears, kissed him, and then just, just gave him a beat down. Um, because even though at the beginning he said he's not a fighter and he's not good at fighting, he does, he, then he says that he actually is very good at fighting. So also there's kind of a joke there in that he's, he's kind of contradicting himself a little bit, warfare. which is very funny. Am I, I don't know when I'm supposed to get off. What, how much... I'll tell one more, this is one more thing I gotta say. Just, we'll keep it in the fighting theme. I don't know if this is even funny, but I just wanna say, I know we have a lot of women fighters and I really appreciate it. Could that, I don't, yeah, I know, you, she's so adorable. Whatever, karate, uh, yeah. You're fan, Michelle, Michelle, yeah, Jesus. Talk about it, that's, anyway, I don't wanna get into that, but uh, just, you know, you just, I look at you, I can't help but feel like a creep. It's weird, but anyway, and I am one. So anyway, but here's the thing. Kind of a, Risky crowd work there to, to point at some women and say I, I feel like a creep and I and I am a creep uh, Generally, you know a lot of the times women don't really like that um, But these ladies uh, love it. They love Brian Callen and they're just having a great time Just as just for women you guys make fights worse if you see two guys lined up and they're about to swing Don't I, I see so many women I travel girls are always on the sideline going they're always doing stuff like my boyfriend will kick your ass because you're an a-hole. I was in North Carolina. She was smelling the guy. She was like, yeah, he's an a-hole. She got punched in the face. So did her boy. Okay. And I was like, because hmm, she deserved it. I'm sorry. Here's my, here's, here's how you can get your boyfriend out Kinda of any fight. Again. And nobody wants to fight on the street. I don't give Joking a shit. I don't care that. if you're UFC because you don't know who you're dealing with. You might be a tough guy, but you might be fighting a face biter. And that sucks. Okay. <laughs> So your job as, as a woman is to get your man out of the fight, but make him look good. So this is what I give you. Try this. Instead of standing on the sideline and acting all and talking a big game, all you got to do is this. When you, when you see your boyfriend with that caveman look and he's squared up and they're about to go and you know it's point of no return, just all you have to do is walk behind your, the other guy. Just walk behind the other guy and start saying really crazy stuff about your boyfriend. Okay? Just start crying and be like... Please don't, please don't fight my boyfriend. Listen, listen, no, listen to me, listen to me. He's great.
See how funny, so that, look at that joke there. Look at the, the use of his hands, it's so funny here. Um, and uh, doing the, the girl voice. Um, really, really funny stuff um, because obviously he's a, he's a guy and he's doing an impression of a girl and, and uh, you know, a normal stand-up comedian might just say uh, there's a woman saying this, but instead he's got, he's got his hand. Again, sort of the main joke here is that hands normally move like this, but he's going like this. So it's all in the delivery. Easy. No, you don't understand. Listen to me. You will take out your eyes. Okay, that's freaky right now. Your job, don't stand there looking like an eye eater, like, that's great, I'm gonna eat. Don't do that, it's way freakier. If you're also crying and agreeing with her, I'm gonna eat your eyes, like, it's true, and they look so delicious. Funny voice there. Okay, and if he still wants to fight you, give him your girlfriend. <laughs> Congrats to all the fighters, it's an honor, it's an honor to perform for you guys. Thank you, I love it. The very fight focused set there at this comedy club. Um, really a masterclass in, in, in body comedy. Um, that was sort of the crux of, there was sort of the, the, the two main jokes were uh, that he, he might be gay and it's okay if you are, but he doesn't ever want to be perceived as gay ever in his entire life. But if he was gay, this is how he, his body would move. Uh, but he's not gay. Uh, and then sort of some uh, advice at the end of, of how to fight people. Because even though he's not good at fighting, he does beat up large Samoan people sometimes. And also, um, if, you, if you act like a real crazy person, um, you might be able to get out of a fight, of course, which is of course h hilarious. So um, great stuff from Brian Callen here. Uh, if you guys liked it, please give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, we'll be back with more Jokes Explained in the future. Thanks so much.